good. All right. Working on my Sportsman X2 570 again. Um, if you haven't watched the first video, go check it out. Basically, I got this from a junkyard. The previous owner rolled it. Um, this is my first ATV. I've never owned one. I've never worked on one before. Um, I did get it running in the last video, so go back and check it out. But for today, what I'd like to do is get the box off to get a better idea of uh, the damage to the box frame and also to the rear of the ATV frame. Um, and also possibly look at the handlebars. I'm not quite sure if they shifted uh, or they're bent, but either way, I'd like to take a close look at that and see if I need to get some handlebars. Um, but yeah, that's it. So let's get to it. Looks like the box is attached with these five uh, bolts here. So I'm gonna start with taking these off and see if there's anything else holding it to the frame. I'm not sure if these are, but uh, we'll start with those five and uh, see where we're at. Okay, so the rear seat and the box is off. I know this looks, <laughs> this looks pretty bad. However, the reason is because this bar here, this uh, pivot bar, I think it's called, uh, is kinked right here. It's kinked and it's shifted uh, this way. And this I know uh, can be bought individually. The box frame is bent here, but I think that could be fixed. Worst case is I can replicate this little C channel I could replicate this uh, this piece and just weld it on. Everything else looks pretty pretty good. Nothing's bent. Uh, these little pins here for the uh, the rear seat will have to be bent back. But other than that, uh, this is the only damage to the box frame. And this part uh, I'm going to order this afternoon uh, will need to be replaced. And this here, the frame, the rear frame. I uh, don't know if you can see this, but uh, it bent here and shifted to the right here. So I think I'll probably have to cut that off and uh, weld another piece here and then put uh, a tube in the back. But this side actually looks pretty straight. I'm not sure if it moved at all, but this one definitely shifted down, as you can see, uh, will need to be replaced. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's pretty good. So I think what I'll do is uh, get this whole frame off and, um, and get a closer look.
So here's a better view of the box frame. As you can see here, uh, it's twisted, uh, but I'll see if I can try to fix this, pound it back into place. Other than that, everything else looks pretty clean and straight. I'm happy uh, that I don't have to, I don't have to replace. Looking at the pivot bar here, you can see it's kinked pretty bad um, in this frame here. So I guess the majority of the impact uh, when it was rolled was on the left hand side here. This side actually looks pretty good. Um, but yeah, I'll just replace the whole thing, uh, order part this afternoon. Looks like I have to move the exhaust in order to get these bolts out. And uh, once I do, I'll be able to replace this and fix this frame. But yeah, I'm pretty excited. pivot bar is off and you can see the damage to the frame here. I'm wondering if this could be pulled up and welded uh, to fix it or if I should just replace part of this section here. I don't know, I'll have to do, uh, I'll have to think about it. If anybody has any experience in fixing these, um, leave a comment. But other than that, everything else looks pretty straight. I'm really happy with this. Um, one step closer to going out and giving it a try, but for now, I'm going to take a break, go inside and warm up a little bit because it is cold. Later that same evening. Okay, so last thing I want to tackle today is the handlebars. Um, I'm not sure if these are bent or they're just moved forward. Uh, they look kind of low to me, so what I'll do is I'll take the cover off here and we'll take... Um, a closer look. Okay, so the top plastic part appears to be good. The speedometer was out of its socket a little bit, but just push that back in and it's fine. But with the top cover off, I can clearly see that there's an issue with the handlebars. The, I'm assuming this, the handlebar mount is supposed to be centered with the body and it's not, it's been shifted to the left. Also, there's a bend in the handlebar tube here. So I'm gonna find some new handlebars and this will have to be taken apart and uh, figure out what's going on with this mount here, why it's it's been shifted to the right, well, I know why, but how we can, uh, center this assuming it needs to be centered and uh, go from there and that's gonna be a different video that's gonna be a wrap for this video um, I'm super happy with the progress the pivot bar I found on eBay the dealer wanted $160 Canadian for it ended up finding it for $25 Canadian um, down in the States so that's gonna take a while to get here I am kind of worried about the handlebar mount um, I'm assuming it's supposed to be centered so something if it is something there is bent and I won't know until I dig into it. So that's gonna be the next video. Um, I will order some new handlebars regardless. Yeah, anyways, I'm very excited and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments and I think I'm supposed to tell you to subscribe. Um, I guess anything helps, uh, share it, whatever. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.